Alright, everybody, what is going on? Holy shit, man. Definitely got definitely got a bit of uh, fullness back in the face after coming back from Thailand. Um, yeah, this last week, uh, eating has not been an issue, I'll tell you that much. Uh, I've just finished a night shift. That's pretty much the only type of shift I've been doing since I got back. I had one uh, day shift on the Friday and then I've done four night shifts since then and we're back at Friday the next week. So it's been exactly a week, pretty much, since I got back from Thailand and um, I'm just gonna drive home right now. Uh, I'm gonna have a coffee. I'm gonna sit down and tell you guys exactly how things have been going. Sit down on the stairs at mine and tell you guys how things have been going as far as training, nutrition. Um, really happy to say that everything is back on track my weight is climbing once again and we're making gains so that's the main thing I'll see you guys back at home uh, in a little bit to tell you a bit more in depth on how things have been going sweet all right guys we are back we're back at home and uh, I'm just gonna try and uh, focus this shit up not sure how the lighting is looking but uh, last time I made a video on these very stairs the lighting was absolutely terrible so I'm hoping I'm hoping it's a little better this morning I think it is um, right so for today's date it's Friday the 5th of May I'm not sure if you can see that or not but it's about 8, 8 o'clock in the morning Friday the 5th of May got back to Alice Springs uh, a week and a day ago so last Thursday I got back with about 36 hours uh, no sleep, so I'd been up for 36 hours. I'd managed to catch probably one or two hours sleep on a couple of the flights that we had to catch back from Thailand, and I managed to get back to Alice Springs at about five at night on Thursday, five o'clock at night, with two hours sleep under my belt, and and you know just this feeling that I just had to get back in the gym. So. You know, I try and, sometimes I try and brush it off and say that the gym's not that important to me. You know, if, I, if, you know, if I'm looking at it as, as a hobby, as a thing, it's probably not that important in the grand scheme of things. But for me personally, on a day-to-day -day basis, for me to be as positive as possible, it just for me, for me personally, mentally, uh, it really helps me just be content, I think. I got, I got straight back in the gym that night, I uh, hit some arms. I think the next day I must have hit some back, then hit some chest, then I did legs on the Sunday, uh, then Monday, what did we do? I think maybe some arms again, and then I did shoulders, and then I did back, and then yesterday I did legs. So yeah, I've definitely, I've really got back into it guys, there's no, you know, there's no, there's no easy way to say it. I said on Snapchat when I first got back on that Thursday night, when I was just about to hit the gym after I was so tired, I, you know, I said to everyone, the only way to get back on, if you've fallen off the bandwagon, you know, it's not the end of the world, okay? The only, the, the only way to get back on it is to get back on it. The only way to get back in the gym and, and start, you know, making gains again is to get back in the gym. You've got to put one foot in front of the other and actually step foot in the gym, start lifting, Yes, it's not going to be easy, and I'll tell you what, the first few workouts weren't easy, but like I knew, once I've hit each muscle group, you know, once or twice, I'll get that fullness back. Once I've started eating again, which I have done, I'll get that, you know, bit of fullness back, the weight will start rising again, and my, my motivation will be uh, sky high once again. So I'm happy to report that, yes, I've hit each muscle group at least once. I've hit legs twice, I've hit chest twice, I've hit arms twice, um, and... Uh, you know, I'm feeling, I've hit back twice. So I pretty much hit everything twice, to be honest. Um, really, really cracked back into it. I, I, I felt like I could do that with, you know, minimal need for rest because I'd had two weeks off the gym. Uh, so if anything, guys, you know, I'm not, I'm definitely not kicking myself for having two weeks off. I was, well, I was prepared to do that. I probably wasn't prepared to drink as much as I did, but you know, whatever, that's in the past. My liver, <laughs> Luckily, your liver is the most 
capable organ in the body of reproducing um, itself. So I'm hoping that uh, 10 days out of 365 will not fucking kill my liver. But anyways, definitely felt like it for a couple of days there. So as far as strength goes, yes, my strength has been down. Uh, but for example, you know, I tried, I tried training back uh, after being back for a couple of days. My top sets on the bent over row had to max out at 100 kg. I was putting 105 or 110 kg on there for the bent over row before I left. Uh, two days ago when I was trained back for the second time, um, I made sure that I, I hit bent over row first. That was the mistake in the first workout. I hit the lat pull down first. I went pretty hard on that. Obviously, some of my strength has been fatigued and I'm not going to be able to hit the usual weight I can on the bent over row. So hit the bent over row first. Happy to report I got eight clean reps at 110 kg, which is pretty much you know bang on where I was before I left. Keep in mind, guys, that I did cut for three weeks um, before I went to Thailand, and then cut another two kilos whilst I was away. So in total, I went from 105 down to 98 at my lightest. Now. The, the state I was in at 98 kg coming back from holiday was a very deflated, flat state. Um, I was very depleted. Um, so, you know, all it took was a couple of days of eating normally again, getting that fluid back in, because that's the thing about Thailand, it's so humid, it's fucking hard to stay hydrated. So, your weight is thrown off because of that. So, you know, get my fluids back in, get my meals back in, and my weight has, sh you know, shot right back up to 100 kg, um, just like that. So. Currently, I am weighing about 100 kg. I'm going to do a weigh-in for you guys. First thing in the morning, it's probably about that. In the gym, you know, it's about 102, which makes me feel good. You know, getting that weight back and getting that size back. The only thing I want to watch is obviously my stomach. Now, I did shape up pretty well before I went away. I did have, you know, some resemblance of abs coming through. At the moment, because I've blasted my, my body with all this food and stuff and water, I'm feeling quite bloated and I'm definitely not going to do a physique update, but I do know that I'm putting the I'm putting the weight back on, I'm getting that you know fullness back, and as a natural, um, that's really important. You know, uh, when you start getting flat, when you start reducing your carbs and cutting and things, it's extremely hard to get a pump in the gym, and yeah, you do feel flat. I mean, even when I've fucking, but anyways, that's that's all part of it. So, with that being said, yeah, training's going really well. Um, I could I could give you guys a few numbers, you know, squats, I'm still hitting three plates for seven to nine reps, my top sets. Uh, I did an incline hammer strength machine on one of my chest days, I put three plates on there, did nine reps. Um, what am I doing? Uh, arms, I was doing 26 kg hammer curls, which is pretty good for me. Um, I was doing easily uh, 40 kg straight bar curls. Um, and what do we got? Triceps. Yeah, I was doing sets of 12 to 15 body weight dips. Everything's going pretty good. Nutrition, I would honestly have to say that my, my calories have been up around 4,000 a day since being back. You know, I'm not fucking around. Uh, I feel like I've got, uh, you know, I feel like I've got my appetite back, which I'm really happy about. You guys will know that when I first started this series and I started eating well again, it didn't take long for me to sort of fill out and I get my best results when I'm eating a lot, especially around the times I train. I'm not counting anything at the moment, I'm not tracking macros, I really should be, because it's such a great tool, it's such a great piece of data to have in front of you, um, your diet and macros to justify whatever results you're getting. But at the moment, I just don't feel that's necessary. I know I'm in a caloric surplus, I know I'm training hard, and those are the two major keys when it comes to building muscle. So, that's about it. I'm going to leave you guys now. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do right now. I've got another night shift tonight, so that should be interesting. Um, but not really. I do like my night shifts. Night shifts are quite easy. Uh, as opposed to a day shift, you know. 12 hours at night when you don't really have to worry about too much is a lot less stressful than 12 hours in a day where uh, your client is just at you all, all day every day so um, night shifts have been a nice easy uh, introduction back into work after the two weeks off but I'm sure it's gonna um, get 
stressful from here at times, but hey, touch wood, it might not. So anyways guys, that is it, it's the first week back of bulking, I'm feeling really good about how things are going, I'm excited to make it to day 365 guys, that is the plan. It started off as one year of gains this, this series and someone called me out after about 30 days because I changed it to making gains because I never thought that I would actually get to one year of, of making gains or one year of making these videos. So this series has definitely kept me motivated, it's kept me accountable and I can thank you guys for that, thanks for watching. Uh, look out for the next couple of episodes. I will be trying to change up the content. I'm going to go down to the rugby field and get some uh, cardio in. So that should be cool. And, you know, I really need to watch a few tutorials about how to actually use this camera because it's a fucking nice camera and I don't even know how to use it properly. So that's what I'm going to do. You guys have a fantastic day. Thanks for watching once again. Eat well. Train hard. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.